Facing the problems of badly deteriorated highways, heavy traffic loads, and a tight budget, the Virginia Department of Transportation used innovative construction methods to rehabilitate a four-mile section of Interstate 81 in Augusta County in 2011. Pavements don't last forever. The elements and every vehicle take a toll on the surface and underlying layers that support our roads. For many years, VDOT repaired the road by milling off the top driving surface of the pavement and replacing it with a new one. On some roads, such as this section of southbound I-81 in the Shenandoah Valley, the cracks and related deterioration had reached all the way to the soil under the pavement structure. Cracks in the pavement had allowed water to seep through to the base of the structure. This reduced the road's ability to carry heavy loads and accelerated its deterioration. For this section of I-81, VDOT used three innovative recycling processes to rebuild the road. The recycling processes were tailored to the condition of each lane and used existing materials to save money and time during the project. This was the first time these three pavement recycling processes were used together on a single interstate rehabilitation project in the United States. In the more heavily damaged right travel lane, the full 24 inches of the pavement structure were rehabilitated. The bottom 12 inch layer of stone and soil was mixed in place with stabilizing agents, then recompacted. The 10 inch asphalt layer above was milled and taken to a nearby mobile plant, mixed with foam asphalt to stabilize it, then repaved and compacted. A new six inch thick asphalt layer was then added for the driving surface. The left passing lane had less damage, so only the surface and a portion of the underlying asphalt layers needed rehabilitation. The existing asphalt was milled, stabilized with foam asphalt, and repaved in one pass. It was then compacted and a new four inch thick asphalt riding surface was added. While the work was underway, carefully planned traffic management reduced disruption to travelers and maximized safety for workers and motorists alike. An innovative traffic management plan allowed eight five day windows where cars were redirected onto a parallel primary road while trucks would continue on I-81 in the passing lane through the project. This plan included a secondary detour available if necessary. The traffic plan analysis predicted very little backup, which was verified on the project during the work. This environmentally sensitive combination of highway construction technologies also saved money by recycling existing road material back into the new pavement and extending the service life of the highway. Green transportation projects such as this save time and money for everyone who uses Virginia's roads. It's the future of how we'll maintain our nation's highways, and VDOT is leading the way.